In this lesson, we'll look at how to systematically analyze op amp circuits. Now, if the op amp is not ideal, it will have a finite gain and then the analysis is no different from what we have discussed earlier for circuit analysis when the circuit has control sources. Okay? Because let us take the same circuit we have been considering. And let us say A naught is finite, that is the op amp is not ideal. Okay. So, then I mean the only thing different uh, between this and all the circuits we analyzed before is the symbol. All we have to do is replace the op amp with a voltage controlled voltage source of gain A naught. Okay. So, my circuit becomes this this is V D, this is A naught V D Okay. So, now we have this control source and we know how to handle voltage controlled uh, voltage sources. We have to basically replace the voltage controlled voltage source with a super node and we will lose one equation. We cannot write K C L at this node. We replace that by the equation governing the voltage controlled voltage source. Okay. So, in this particular case, we cannot write an equation a KCL equation at this node. Let us say if we are doing nodal analysis, but we can do it at this particular node and then uh, we use the control source equation, which is V naught equals A naught times V D as the extra equation. Okay. So, we have already discussed how to do nodal analysis with uh, voltage control voltage sources. We also know how to do mesh analysis with voltage control voltage sources. So, this is not a difficult thing at all. Okay. In fact, with uh, non ideal op amps, the analysis is easy, it is the same as analysis of any circuit with voltage control voltage sources. Okay. Now, as far as uh, analysis of ideal op amp circuits is concerned, now we cannot use the previous approach because for an ideal op amp the gain A naught is infinite. Okay. If we have a multiplying factor which is infinite, we cannot write legitimate equations. Okay. So, what we do then is the following. Again, the problem is that we do not know what is the current at the output of the op amp. Okay. If I call this I O P A, I O P A is not known. Okay. That is, it is unrelated to the characteristics of the op amp. We cannot write some equation based on what the op amp is. This is similar to how when we had voltage sources either independent or controlled we could not write an equation for the current through the voltage source from the property of the voltage source. Okay. So, that is determined by what is connected to it. So, we replaced it by some other uh, equations. So, in case of the ideal op amp also we will not be able to write K C L equation at the output node of the op amp. So, instead we have to use the virtual short equation. Okay. So, this is V 1 and V 2 
v1 equals v2 and this corresponds to the virtual short okay so bottom line is kcl equation cannot be written at op amp output so for each op amp so far we have been considering only circuits with a single op amp if you have multiple op amps the principle is the same so the kcl equation at the op amp outputs is replaced by virtual short equation for that op amp okay so that's the way we analyze op amp circuits in general okay now you have to always keep in mind that this virtual short applies only if the op amp is in negative feedback that has to be checked separately using ideas we have discussed earlier that you have to check that every op amp is in negative feedback but once it's in negative feedback the inputs are virtually shorted and you can use this for analysis of circuits with ideal op amps okay so just for completeness let me analyze this circuit we already know the result but i'll systematically put down the nodal analysis equations okay so now we have an ideal op amp and there are three nodes 1 2 and 3 now we'll try to do nodal analysis which means that we should uh, try to write kirchhoff's current law equations at all the nodes the reference node of course is the ground okay this is the reference node now if you look at node 1 there is a voltage source there so that means that we cannot write kcl equation over there okay instead of that we have to essentially write the constraint for this voltage source what you do is really is you form a super node with node 1 and the reference node because you don't write any equation for the reference node you can't write any equation for this super node either instead of that you simply have the constraint imposed by this voltage source which says that v1 the voltage at node 1 equals vi the source voltage similarly two you cannot write a kcl equation this node is connected to the op amp output so we don't know the current flowing out of the op amp so no kcl equation there instead of that we write the virtual short equation what does the virtual short equation say it says that this node voltage and that node voltage are the same that is v1 equals v3 okay and finally at node 3 we can write the kcl equation okay so that is vx which is the same as v3 so let me use my usual notation which is v3 times the sum of conductances which is 1 by r plus 1 by k minus 1 times r okay minus v2 1 by k minus 1 times r equals the total independent current source being injected into this node which is zero okay so if i solve with these three equations this one that one and that one so essentially i'll get the solution which is that v1 equals vi v2 equals k times vi and v3 equals vi okay so this is the solution to these three equations so if you have a complicated circuit with many op amps again you replace you cannot write kirchhoff's current law equations at the op amp outputs so you forget that 
you instead write the virtual short equation for that particular op amp. Clearly, this method applies only when all the op amps in the circuit are in negative feedback, which has to be checked separately. Okay. So, then you will have as many equations as you have unknowns. If you have other voltage sources in the circuit, you have to use the supernode concept. I am assuming we will do nodal analysis, but whatever we discussed for mesh analysis also applies here. Uh, similarly, if we have controlled uh, voltage sources, then we again have to form supernodes and so on. Okay. So, everything else remains conventional. The op amp, the equation at the output node is replaced by the virtual short equation at the op amp inputs. Okay.